Hello. So I um, went to the local hardware store, like a really tiny one with, you know, the one with gazillion um, containers with all kinds of different hardware. Only downside is that it's really expensive. I received a battery for my uh, charger and look how it comes. Like a little suitcase with one battery in there. What the fuck is this, guys? Please just do not ship this plastic crap, but only the battery instead. What the? This is a waste of money, waste of materials. It's fucking dumb. Cameron Sino, you're fucking stupid. No one wants a fucking suitcase for a battery. So, that's out of my system. It's a waste of material. Just like I wasted some material yesterday on making a feed. So I made two feet, gave it a little fast spray paint, so it has a color. And now the hardware that I bought is meant for this feet. Okay, well, it looks like an outrigger fancy thingy with the chrome. It looks, it looks rather cheesy to me, but anyhow, at least you can level it a tiny bit. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. This is gonna be a really floppy thing. Absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm gonna do some foil cutting. I cleaned my uh, cutting mat. Uh, because it's sticky, it collects dust, so it should be kind of clean. I added a 3M remount on it, so it's sticky but should let go of the foil in the end. And I'm gonna use some new foil, it's aluminium. It's, uh, let's see almost 30 centimeters wide, 100 meters long, and it's 14 micron. Something I did not cut before, because I did not have a roll before. Um, so, question is if this will cut correctly, because um, aluminium doesn't like to be cut and it might rip. And I found a solution for that, but the method I'm gonna use is not allowing me to use that solution and that is if you give this a slight coat of some glue it cuts nicer and does not rip but since I'm gonna attach captain over this that has the uh, adhesion on the captain uh, instead of the usually way I do it with mylar then the adhesion is on the aluminium so yeah I use a 30 degree angled cutting blade for very thin materials. That does not work. I might switch to 45 degree. Although that's usually for thicker materials, so. Ow, God damn it! that's, I'm injured. So I don't want dust on this thing. I prefer not. I can see here what the clearance is, so... Well, here goes nothing because, uh, yeah... Well, let's load the correct program first. There we go. Look good. 
as expected. Mm -hmm. Am I gonna spray it? Just a light dust. Doesn't look thin. Ah, oh, fuck. Fail. So, okay. Or shall I take an... I'll, I'll take another blade and keep the weight. Nope, oh, the same. Higher speed, uh, 45 degree. So, it did cut. And I could weed it out. Now, I thought I'll remove the uh, remount with some of uh, this stuff. Now, the problem is that remount has a slightly different makeup than the normal spray adhesive I use. And <coughs> you can see it, it doesn't like remove it easily, it, it leaves scrap behind. So I'm pretty sure I can add hire this to my captain, but the captain is really expensive. So I might, I might redo it again. Use the same blade, use the same speed, but I use a different type of glue that's temporarily that I kind of remove more easily. I hope so. These are fine, but they are going away. <laughs> This is a far better mist, to be fair, than the remount. Maybe because it's a new can. Okay, let's do it again. Now see if we can clean this off a little bit without too much trouble. Yeah, much better. Now I need some room because otherwise I screw this up. Now I have my um, captain on this uh, frame I made earlier. Now I should be able to lay it down from here. So far, so good. This frame worked out really great. I thought it might fail completely, but as you see, it doesn't. Okay, so now I load program two lower the speed because it has to cut through more material uh, well yeah this should work let's see if it cut all the way through One coil, I'm gonna stick it back on. To get rid of this rolling up feature.
nice and shiny. So I got my coil. One of the coils. Still rolls up a little bit. Now this is still sticky. As you can hear and see. So we use some chalk. Baby powder in this case. Oh, that's a bit too much. Well, until it doesn't stick anymore. So it's nicer if you do it in one go without it drifting off. So now I got like stages you can clearly see. They will be gone if you pull on it, but still, it's not ideal. They look to be a bit long. Yep, too long. It's too long, it's too long, it's too long. Say 2.4 centimeters too long. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna finish these two coils. I'm gonna put them in one of the frames and do a measurement. And if I think it's the, you know, maybe I think Captain sucks. And then I have to redo it anyways, and then I can adjust the size as well. That's what I'm gonna do. So, whew, that took me a while. Is this without insert again, or what the fuck? Jesus, how many did I forget? Well, anyhow. What I don't like is indeed the foil at some places touch the magnet, and I don't know why this is a thing. This foam shit is bothering me. So the distance from magnets to the foil is not everywhere the same. So here's enough room, then there's less room, then there's more room. Why is there no room here? What's the deal? I had this before and I, my idea or thoughts about it was that it might be the foam. I mean, the rest is, you know, it's flat. So what the fuck? Why? What also might be the case is the way I put this thing in. That might be a thing as well. So here it comes close to the magnets and I don't know why, it's, it's bothering me. I wonder if the... And here it's also close. I might need to change out the uh, foam. So maybe the frame part takes less high foam. You, you would say it equals out, but apparently it doesn't. Quite... Annoying, so lowering it in like vertical doesn't do shit. Let's see what the uh, impedance is. Well, it is much higher. It's 4 ohm. Did I, uh... Well, it's even better. I mean, combined with the 8 ohm. 
It's fine with me, but kind of weird. Whoop. I don't know, of course, maybe the foil is thinner, maybe it cut, cut the traces slightly thinner. Who knows? I'm gonna check this real quick, see if it rubs and how it sounds before I do the second one, and I'll do it again, and then decide if I want to go captain or not, and if I have to change out this foam, because this sucks. So here there's enough clearance, then in the middle, somehow there's not enough clearance to the magnets, which is ridiculous. It's the same, it, the, the frame is flat, it's the same foam, why is it acting up weird there? <laughs> 